Hello, boys and girls. My name is Otto and welcome back to an another episode of Oxygen Not Included. As you can see, our oxygen production is working. Last time we managed to uh, hook this uh, this steam vent up. Uh, got it analyzed um, and everything. So now we just have to see that this works properly. In theory these two should be enough uh, to power the setup. Um, But maybe not. Anyhow, uh, with this out of the way, we can turn our attention to other meadows. We have dug in down here a bit as well, then over to this side. Over here we have another cold biome. So let's go this way. Uh over on this side, we are still working on and off on our uh, uh, power setup. Then up here, uh, I have decided last time that we will have an exit with uh, an oxygen gateway here on top. And we will have one down below here as well. Here I'm not yet uh, so sure uh, how I want to lay this out, but uh, we will we will manage that eventually. And here we are also digging in a bit more, and um, yeah, we will we will see. Uh, down here we have the oil. So what I imagine will happen is we get the oil and then here in the uh, cold biome we will have a temporary setup uh, for steel production. And then another thing that I need to um, figure out is um, we need uh, a cold water storage. So uh, uh, for all the uh, cooling purposes uh, inside the base and outside the base. And one of the best fluids to uh, use for cooling is uh, polluted water. Because if we have a look here at the uh, properties, um, it freezes at minus 20 degrees, so that's 20 degrees uh, lower than normal water, and it only evaporates at 120 degrees. That's also 20 degrees more than uh, regular water. So we have 40 degree more temperature range to work with. Um, we also 
finish the research and I was missing something okay let's finish this branch off and then we do not need that just yet um all right we will have the gate over here on this side and we will have a regular door and a roof right um then we need um exosuits for the dogs and for that we need a bit more refined metal we have a bit of copper, we have a bit of iron, but we need 400 kilograms of idol. So, if they would have um, power, this system would be running because there is enough uh, pressure in here This is the layout we want to have and then we shall have quite a few uh, atmosphere docks on this side. Um, we will also put the tile in here because occasionally um, they are wetting their pants while in the suit and then uh, when they uh, um, de-rope um, it gets messy in here and apparently the suits are not cleaned uh, uh, in between uses so I don't want to know what's going on there. Um, oxygen wise we are looking quite decent up here it's a bit uh, thin but eventually we want to get uh, hydrogen in this uh, top layer here anyway This 
also can save a bit of uh, energy that is generated and maybe then have uh, this setup going a bit more um, constantly. Because currently it's jumping on and then turning off again. Because by the looks of it, the uh, hydrogen that is generated uh, uh, from this setup is not enough uh, for these two generators to run constantly. And our uh, mushroom farm is uh, fully planted. So we should be quite safe when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, food. So seeing that we have enough food, we can think about getting another duplicate. They are all quite good, uh, but let's look at the negative traits. Um, anemic decreased athletic which means they are uh, basically uh, walking slow they are not even running uh, cannot do cooking errands that's okay we have a cook um, but farming and plant murder that's that's not really a, a good combination so Frankie, you will go down the uh, the farming road, I think. We have also Harold uh, that already uh, leans in that direction, um, but you can do better. So I think everybody should have at least a bit more uh, digging um, so that if they are in a tricky situation um, they can actually uh, dig themselves out um, same as for the same as for the building so Usually I don't take any duplicates that cannot dig and cannot build because these two traits uh, can save their lives if they somehow manage in a situation uh, where their life depends on it. So how are we looking down? Here still no progress. Uh, here we have an oil reservoir. So this is probably where we get uh, our oil needs sorted. Um, But let's do one thing at a time. All right, cold biome, and then over here there is the border. So nothing terribly exciting going on here. So. 
frankly... What we have here on this side... It's probably more interesting. So far, we have not yet been too lucky uh, with finding any useful geysers uh, or volcanoes. So that's a tiny bit worrying. However, we have not yet looked uh, that far up here, uh, so we might still find some good stuff up there. Um, and down here, we will have the... Uh, gas, the natural gas generators, and because they are dripping um, uh, polluted water, we will have them on meshed tiles. And the whole string till down here, then this level we will have a door. it's in station but we need metal for that it's anyway not that pressing to get the uh, power control station in because uh, to make use of the power control station you need refined metal anyway The battery here helped a bit. Now we have a more constant, constant flow. Going in with 50 degrees, coming out with 22. As long as it's below. Um, below 100 that's that's okay then here on this side we will have the uh, other one so let's put that in as well
Invalid construction, yeah. They, they will get around to it. Um, we can have the door here. What you're doing is quite dangerous. progress over there and the poke shell has hatched which means this one is not so protective anymore and um, we can get in there without fearing for our lives or lives of our duplicates Someone contracted slime lungs, uh, which I think uh, will affect their um, ability to, uh, to work um, and also their uh, morale. So hmm, I think here in the middle we will have. Uh, switching out this farm eventually um, but we probably need don't need too much more farm but we could do with another uh, a stable for the hatches as on here we have nine right so let's have a look. Um, we covered Dracos, we covered Hatches. Uh, we are prepared for Pips, we have covered Poke Shells, um, we will eventually deal with, uh, with Voles. Um, not sure if we uh, come around to, uh, to Pakus. And uh, Morbs, um, I have a few ideas uh, uh, combining puffs and morbs. Um, we will see. Uh, what can we get? Um, let's take the Choya seed because this is something we cannot get on this map. And if we look at the, uh, at the uh, plants, we have the uh, arbor tree set up, uh, balm lily, I don't have anything set up, they need a bit of a, of a higher temperature range and chlorine atmosphere. So. That's not something that's that's uh, uh, straight forward. We have the bristle blossom. We have the dust caps, also known as mushroom. We have the mealwood. Um, we have the slate wheat in all our uh, um, 
cold biomes, then timble reed also growing in the wild. Um, they ha like it moderately warm. Um, and then we have the uh, pincher pepper nut plant, which also likes it warm. Um, they require phosphorite and polluted water. Um, so probably we will have another farm for the uh, for the pepper plant. Once we get a, a sustainable um, amount of phosphor phosphorite from our Draco farm. Have they yet laid an egg? No. Um, well, maybe we should restrict them to four. And copy it over to here. Maybe even only three. We will see. How we are getting on with six. No further progress down there. However, here they are digging down. We have a salt water geyser, uh, which produces water also at quite high temperature. So, salt water we can uh, uh, destilize, um, and this can be another water source. If we cannot find anything better. All right, we are making piecemeal progress over here. Um. Maybe. Let's have the fire going through here. And on this layer we will have More batteries. I think uh, to power our base, at least the main part here, um, two kilowatt should be sufficient. And that's what we can uh, can power with a conductive uh, uh, wire like uh, this one. And then, of course, we will have more transformers, for example, for this setup uh, here. Um, so we can actually. Um, we don't need that one made from gold amalgam. We can do it with copper. Ah, and apparently all this 
wiring. It's also gold amalgam. Just no good. Let's do it with copper instead. Then we should actually be able to uh, make some progress. Instead of toying around. But we are already quite a bit over time. Um, so hope you enjoyed this longer episode and I will see you with the next one. Goodbye.